post up for grabs once more. Concurrently, the second most populous city in the country and the most densely populated in the world. Talk about over 42,000 inhabitants per square kilometer. Traffic is a given. Lack of spaces for living and for making a living. Many have tried to restore Manila to its former glory. Among them, Mayor Himiliano Mel Lopez, the 18th mayor of Manila, on the list. He was one of those who opposed the regime of then-President Ferdinand Marcos through the party list Laban, in which he is a founding member. When the dictatorship was overthrown, Mel Lopez was appointed mayor of the capital city. When he assumed office in 1988, his city had a 700 million peso debt and an empty treasury. One of his greatest feats had been reducing this balance to almost half and increasing the city's coffers to 70%, mainly from the movie theaters and public markets in the city, as well as through Manila Zoo. However, Mel Lopez lost to then NBI director Alfredo Lim in the 1992 elections. More than three decades later, his son Alex Lopez is running for mayor, seeking to reinstate the Lopez name in City Hall. Will Alex Lopez be the 23rd mayor of Manila? We'll find out. Just a short disclaimer, aside from our guest tonight, we have also sent an invitation to Vice Mayor Hani Lacuna, and as we speak, we are still waiting for her reply. Tonight, joining us is the son of a former Manila mayor, Mr. Alex Lopez. Good evening po, sir. Magandang gabi po, Boss Jay. Uh, at maganda ka pa sa gabi, Madam Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> Salamat po sa inyo. Ayun eh. <laughs> okay, simulan natin. Mm -hmm. Kasi, eto nga po, kayo ang lalaban kay uh, Vice Mayor Honey Lacuna. Pero sino ba si Alex Lopez, sir? Si Alex Lopez po, uh, ang panganay na anak ni uh, Mel Lopez, naging kanyang private secretary. Hmm. Ang may bahay ko po ay isang educator, uh, anak ni Senator Sotero Laurel po, like si group of companies po, and David Patels. I have four children. All of them have uh, graduated, uh, one from Sydney University, one from Harvard, two from Columbia, and one from Boston College. So uh, they've also taken their masters. And ako po ay uh, isang professor dati, pamantasa. I started out as an educator. Uh, I'm a board of trustees of the Honorary Lopez Technical Institute. I think uh, our technical institute uh, is one of the most successful, if not the most successful in the Philippines. We have about 23,000 uh, uh, graduates who are uh, scholars, scholar graduates. Uh, I have uh, hundreds of scholars also at the Lyceum. And uh, uh, a lawyer by training, an economist by training. I graduated 1981. And among my no uh, notable professors are Father Michael McFaven and uh, Madam Gloria Makapagal Arroyo. And uh, aside from that, I would consider myself as a builder. I developed Fort Bonifacio, uh, Mall of Asia. I built several airports, Terminal 1, 2, 3, 4. And, uh, the PAL parking, I built uh, several airports, I mean, Thamesley, power plants, water treatment plants, and uh, a lot of subdivisions and infrastructure projects for the private sector, uh, both local funded, foreign funded, and privately funded. And I am a board director of several corporations, one of which is a quadruple A construction, one of the very few quadruple A construction companies in the So, yan po, uh, in a nutshell, uh, is uh, a bit of uh, a bird's eye view uh, of who Alex Lopez was. Mm -hmm. And I would like to be a builder of the dreams of Manila. So that's uh, my next objective, mm -hmm. to build, uh, fulfill the dreams of the Manilans. But Sir Alex, so, Sir Alex, yes. this is your first time to run for mayor, no? Uh, for mayor, po, oh, uh -oh. I ran for congressman uh, 
actually I was supposed to be a replacement of my cousin who was a uh, on his uh, third term uh, who is undefeated. We've been undefeated in uh, that district since 1963. After my father, it was my uncle, then my cousin, and I have the distinction of losing that district for two percent. And I think I'm very proud because I gave it a good fight, not a quarry, but the change. It's not the truth, but their tricks. So I think I, uh, I had an enjoyable journey through, though I did not reach the destination. Hmm. And what pushed you now? Bakit po, with all the credentials, yung mga, yung background nyo po na inilatag po sa amin, eh bakit sasabak pa? sa politika ang isang La Alex Lopez eh ang dami naman nang nagagawa nako madami madami yung talagang accomplishment na nagawa pero alam niyo naman po uh, hindi niyo na itatanong ay uh, na Jesuit educated and uh, I read the Bible every morning and uh, every time uh, the past few days um, na babasa ko po na I have to give service and I have to have sacrifice and if given a path, your path crosses and uh, there is a choice for which path you should take. It should always be a path of service and sacrifice at Madiolan de Gloria for the greater glory of God. So, ako naman po, eh, na, ayoko naman talaga tumakbo eh. Eh, nakita ko po, walang credible opposition po. And I am happy to announce that one of those who ran to put up a credible opposition is uh, Dr. Izon, who was the head of the city health of Manila during Lim's time and Arab's time. Today, he withdrew his candidacy in my favor because he saw a credible opposition already. So it, it is a multi-sectoral clamor. And uh, I am calling and uh, I am calling, I, I am answering the call for that multi-sectoral platform for change, for meaningful alternative for the city of Manila. And to help the people of Manila to give direction to a city which I think uh, has the wrong priorities. So, uh, COVID po ngayon, uh, 19 billion ang budget, 25 billion ang debt. What are they doing? They're building infrastructure. Well, that's well and good. No? I'm not even going to question whether there was corruption and there was overpricing. I think it's a wrong priority. Kasi ang problema po ngayon, katulad niyan, yung Albert Elementary School. They're going to demolish Albert Elementary School to privatize portions of it, to build mo a little more classrooms to air condition it. Bawawala ang... Um, Mga playground, tatlong taon at kalahati po, uh, wala ang paaralan ang mga estudyante. And what for? Uh, they're spending hundreds of millions, if not billions of pesos. For what? To add 20, 30 classrooms to air conditioning. But hindi lang tayo magpatayo ng dalawang put kung pong air conditioned classrooms, di ba? Hindi naman kailangan gibahin niyo buong Albert Elementary School para maging multi-use uh, edifice, di ba? We, we, I don't think the people needs this now. What the people needs is uh, uh, work, ayuda, immediate response. Kasi maraming wala akong trabaho ngayon. Uh, the 25 billion, I was computing it, 25 billion bucks po ang minutang nila. Uh, simple mathematics, you don't even need a calculator. For 250,000 families, you can lend 100,000 uh, uh, to these people. So, ang tingin ko ho, in business, my, my, I'm able to grow my business on the principle of uh, progress at the speed of trust. So, kailangan uunlad po tayo, progress at the speed of trust. Uunlad po tayo pag magtiwala tayo sa isa't isa. Pag ako nagtiwala sa taong bayan, ang taong bayan nagtiwala sa akin, nagtiwala sa kanilang gobyerno, ang negosyante nagtiwala sa gobyerno, uunlad po tayo, magtiwala tayo sa ating kababayan na pinapag pinautang mo yan ng isang taong libo, papalakihin niya yan at gagawin niya ang 
ikabubuti ng pamilya niya. Bakit po, bakit po natin gigibain ang mga ayos na tusali para magpatayo ng mas malaki pa ngayong pandemya? Kaya, at the very least, there is a huge question ang um, of, of, of priorities. There is a huge question of wrong priorities that they are doing. So, isa pa ho, walang tiwala ang negosyante. During my father's time, Manila was the premier city. Uh, our income was way, way, way ahead of everybody else. Ngayon, na-overtake na tayong Quezon City, na-overtake na tayong Makati. In a few years, we will be overtaken by Pasay, by Kalaokan, by Mandaluyong. Bakit po? By Tagig. Isipin nyo pati Tagig, e eh, dati eh. Ano ba naman? I mean, I, I don't want to believe to the other cities. No? In fact, I want to commend them for the progress that they have achieved through their progressive leadership. At ako naman po, ay bagong mukha, bagong diwa ang idadaling ko sa City of Manila. I have a proven track record. One of my corporations, 200,000 lang ako ang inumpisahan ko dyan. Ngayon, I have a net financial contracting capability of 19 billion. I, if I can do that to my company, I can do that to the city. And uh, paya natin pakula rin ang may nila. So, importante po, tiwala mo na nag-aalisa na ang mga negosyante dahil sa red tape, dahil sa hindi level ang playing field, sa napakaraming dahilan po. And I think uh, we can we can correct all of this without increasing revenues. I've been reading the ordinances. Uh, the ordinances, the city government that uh, uh, Madam Hani put up, I don't think we're... Not too many of them are pro poor okay. Not too many of them are progressive. Not too many of them are proactive and very. That will, ano, um, it will not. Hindi hu siya tumutug matas sa pangangailangan ng taong bahay sa kanila for their dreams and aspirations. So okay. ayun po. Ah, uh, baka napapahaba na yung sabi ko. <laughs> <Man. but> I, <laughs> Sir Alex, okay, bago ho tayo mag-break kasi we need to pause for a break, no? At uh, itong tanong na ito, given your background, alam ko na nananalaytay sa dugo ninyo ang Antay Marcos, no? Bilang panganay na anak ng dating uh, Mayor Mel Lopez. So bago niyo sagutin niya, no? Eh kasi, uh, alam ko, ini-endorse ko ni BBM at you're running under BBM's mm -hmm. party. Yes. Bago po niyo sagutin yan, sir, Stick around because we will be talking about the track record of Manila mayoralty candidate, economic manager Alex Lopez, right after this break. Most of the street children come from these poor families. They are forced to get out of the confines of the families to help eke out a living for their own families. That's why Child of Philippines is here to be able to help guide them to protect and uphold their rights and their welfare. Makikita natin dyan, meron dyan gumuhit ng kwento. Nakakatuwa actually nung nalaman namin na bibigyan kami ng school in a bag ng SMART dahil uh, it is aligned in our program, the Street Education and Protection Program. No? Kasi kami pumupunta kami sa streets para mag-educate ng mga bata at malaking tulong yon kasi uh, for our alternative education session. Sobrang thankful kami at nagbigay ang SMART at PLDT SMART ng tablet na magagamit ng mga bata namin para sa bagong uh, yugto ng pag-aaral nila. Isa po itong isa, isa katuparan ng pangarap ng aming organisasyon na makapagbigay pa ng uh, serbisyo para sa aming mga batang kalye. Maraming maraming salamat po sa PLDT at SMART. Dahil sa tablet na binigay niyo po ay patuloy po kaming makakapag-aral ng mga batang kalye. Makakatulong po ito sa online class namin at pati na rin po yung mga 
lesson na nakalagay po doon ay matututunan po namin at mapag-aaralan. Nagpapasalamat ulit kami sa Shadow Foundation dahil nga uh, sa kanila eh, naiparating din po ng PLDT Smart yung gusto naming uh, effort na makatulong sa mamamayang Pilipino. Magtatapos na ang taon, pero ang ating teleservisyo at pagtutulungan, tuloy-tuloy lang at lalo pa nating pinaiigting. Ngayong Pasko, sangalan po ng mga bumubuo ng MVP Group of Companies at ng mga kaibigan at katuwang nito. Inaanyayahan po namin kayong maging bahagi ng isang maligayang bayanihan Pilipino. Very humbling, no? Dahil ang may-ari niya mismo ay nagbo-waiter. Ang kanyang wife ay tumutulong sa reception. So talagang sila sa sariling sikap nila, nakita namin na ito talaga yung mga elemento para maging successful ang isang business. At nakikita mo na sa kanila pa lang ay meron ng puso sa pagsiserve at pag-entertain ng mga tao. Kapit sa pag-asa, sa kasama, pangarap. Aria Gastro Pub is a beach team rooftop resto bar na located dito sa Quezon City. Uh, Kaka-open lang namin last October 18 and currently running two months pa lang dito sa business na ito. Nandito naman kami sa isang restaurant sa Quezon City sa Aria na kung saan namigayig din kami ng Noche Buena Pax para sa mga waiters, cooks, yung mga bouncers, security guard, valets. Kasi nung nag-open up ang economy at pati ang mga restaurants ay tumatanggap na rin ng mga alfresco para mas madami makakakain, nakita namin to by chance at uh, kumain kami. Nakita namin kung gaano talaga ka-enthusiastic yung mga waiters sa pagsiserve sa kanilang mga customers after a long, long time na wala silang trabaho. Gusto ko lang po ba salamatan sila Ma'am Melody, sila Sir Benji at yung kanila pong grupo sa pagiging very generous talaga at napaka mabuting puso. Kaya talaga mas maganda ang Pasko dito sa Aria Gastro Pub dahil po sa inyo. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ang Pasko ay isang movement. No? Wala itong uh, grupo or affiliation. Ito ay uh, isang bayanihan effort para sa lahat ng tao. Sa ating malito contribution, kahit ano pa man yan, pag pinagsama-sama ay malaki din. At mas marami tao ang matutulungan. So sa isang pagsasamahan sa ating isang bayanihan, tayo ay makakapagbigay ng ligaya at pag-asa sa ating mga mamamayan.
You're still watching All Politics is Local with Manila Mayoralty Candidate Alex Lopez. Sir, yung hanging question ko kanina, uh, Antay Marcos ang inyong ama, tapos panganay na anak kayo. And now you're running under BBM's party, no? endorsed by a Marcos. Ang tanong ng marami, anyari? Oo, bakit? Anyari? 1978 po, unang rally ng laban, nasa Paranaque, kay Ferrer. Ako, kasama ni Pinoy, kasama ng tatay ko. I'm not only the eldest son of an anti-Marcos, staunch anti-Marcos uh, uh, fighter, freedom fighter, but also my wife is the niece of Salvador Laurel and Sotero Laurel, known uh, niece of Speaker Laurel, known anti-Marcos. Ano. Pero it's very clear naman po na ang kinalaban ng tatay ko, hindi naman yung tao. Wala naman kong perfectong tao. Ang tatay ko, yung mga mali ng tao. And in the same token, that is why I'm running now. Yung mga mali, I, I'm nothing against Honey. She's, I'm sure she's a very nice person. But yung mga mali nila, I have to expose it. And I have to go out. I think I'm duty-bound as an oppositionist. My father, you know, I was with my father in, uh, in Moscow at the uh, World Cup. Boxing World Cup. I was the manager. My father was uh, had a meeting with the mayor of Moscow and uh, Valentina Tereshkova. And um, and uh, when that was the time Marcos died. When Marcos died, ang hirap ng long distance don. Walang hotel namin long distance. We went to the Philippine Embassy. Uh, Ambassador Alex Nershore was not there. He was being called to Manila for a Senate investigation. Uh, Ambassador Boy Kiroligo was there, no? And they had a hard time getting a clearance from Ambassador Nershore for my father to a half mask. Give instructions for half mask in the city of Manila. Alam nyo, uh, as I told Ma'am Sherry on my earlier interview, si Iskubo first ran under our ticket. And uh, we're happy to say that, uh, that uh, we're happy that he succeeded and, uh, in his political career. Si Manny Pacquiao po, hindi niya nakitatanong. You can ask him. He worked for one of my companies. Uh, uh, and I admire him. He's my idol. I know he has the purest heart of all the candidates. And I would really have loved to support him all out and uh, work hard for him. Deep in my heart, I would have loved to support him. But, you know, analyzing everything, seeing the traits of BBM. Eh, tingin po, he has learned the lessons of the past. He has the brightest vision. Nakikita niya, naiintindihan niya yung problema natin. Grabe ginawa ng tatay niya. And I think, uh, tinira namin ang mali nila. And I think it's about time, I think that the Lopez family praise the good things he's done. And I can go on and on and on. They've done a lot of things for the country. It's just that when the crowd was no longer clapping, they didn't know how to bow down. So, I mean, si Pinoy po was my personal friend. Uh, siguro for 8 to 10 years, I was his best friend. You can ask his close kid. You can ask Secretariat. You can ask. But uh, he tried to stop me from campaigning for Bongbo. And um, 1916, uh, he called me pre sitting president spending time with me for 15 minutes trying to convince me. At that time, my father was his appointee as chairman and president of the Philippine National Oil Corporation. My father never told me to back down Alex. Mali yung ginagawa. Uh, because he knew exactly what I was doing. As he had fought me, the ills of uh, what Marcos has done, he also went up against Cory. He went up against the issues which he thought were wrong. Walang personala, ano lang. So I think the Philippines, it's about time for the Republic to move on 35 or 40 years. Uh, we've all been anti-Marcos and AKA. It's about time for reconciliation and uh, magsama-sama na tayo. So, uh, uh, unfortunately, my brother is campaigning for uh, uh, a different president, but the same vice president. So, uh, for a different presidential candidate, but... Uh, we are one in uh, putting reform in the city of Manila.
Speaking of reform, tingnan po natin paano nyo maaabot na magagawa nyo po yun sa Maynila. Puntahan ko lamang po yung huling survey. etong survey po noong October 17 to 26, Sir Alex, ano, ng uh, RP Mission and Development Foundation Incorporated. Lumalabas po na most preferred candidate um, para po sa top post nga sa pagiging mayor si Vice Mayor Honey Lacuna na mayroong 68%. At uh, sumunod po dito ay former police officer Elmer Hamyas with only 6%. Pero ito po, during this time, October 17 to 26, walang Alex Lopez eh. Wala pa pong, um, kasi November, November 12 lang po kayo nag-substitute. So, paano nyo po hahabulin? Sa tingin nyo ay kakayanin mahabol itong uh, naniniwala kay Vice Mayor Hani Lacuna na 68%? I've seen several political campaigns and uh, it's six months before election day. I've only declared uh, myself as candidate and uh, I'm surprised at the multi-sectoral support in the past few days. In the past three days, I have uh, six ex-congressmen and a congressman endorsing me, uh, an undefeated congressman. I have 36 councillors uh, endorsing me. Uh, I have uh, slowly uh, gained the support of almost all of Alfredo Lim's group. Uh, 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 in a room at the back, it's about uh, all his uh, staff. I have the endorsement of President Former Era Pestrana in four days. Uh, so, I mean, uh, and his group, and, uh, and uh, we'll be counting on a lot more. And, uh, and uh, when we go down to the grassroots and when we explain the issues that will benefit the city, uh, I'm confident that uh, we can turn this around. Uh, I think we have the, I think I have the, what it takes, I have the financial resources, the managerial skills. I have, uh, I think I can inspire the people uh, to do what is right and to vote for the right candidate. And uh, as I said, it's not the quarry, but the chase, not the trophy, but the race. It's not the destination, but the journey. I think I owe it to my father na, na, Ipaglapa ako ang opposition dito sa City of Manila. Alam niyo ngayon, the 36 councillors are all for the same ticket. And uh, uh, my father filed parliamentary bill number one and number two. One is to abolish the MMC, not parliamentary bill number two, is to restore the city councils. I think that's one of his uh, achievements even before he became mayor as member of parliament. He restored the city councils. He, dis he did not restore this to be rubber stamps of, an of the incumbent administration, but to have checks and balances. Because this is how our democratic institutions work. This is how, this is the myth of democracy, and we should work that our democratic institutions work. And I will fight for this. I don't, I, I don't really expect to, to win this, but I, can, I know I can bear my my journey, my struggle, and my fight, I know it's the right fight. And I know I'm going to do good. And even for the six months that I'm going to do this, I know I would have already achieved something in bringing consciousness to the wrongdoings that are happening in the city of Manila. All right. When we return, how will Alex Lopez, an economic manager, solve the problems in his constituency? All that after this short break. aming partner sa PLDT Home, Fiber Home at Smart Communications, Paymaya. At tulong-tulong kami dito ngayon. Nag-umpisa kami dito sa Quezon City, sa District 2. Ipinili namin talaga yung mga jeepney drivers. Talaga sila rin isa sa mga naapektuhang sektor dahil nga walang mga babiyahe, walang mga trabaho. Kaya naisip namin magandang pagsamasamahin sila dito sa District 2 at 
sila ang bigyan namin ng magandang Noche Buena this Christmas season. Ang hanap buhay ko lang yung pagdi-dispatcher. Hanggang ngayon, nagdudusa pa rin ako eh. Kasi kukunti pa lang ang bumibiyahe. Sobrang ano, blessing. Grabe. Kasi wala akong cellphone eh. Uh, Papasalamat ako sa Smart, sa PLDT. Kami po ay nagpapasalamat kasi dalawang taon na halos kami walang biyahe. Maganda po ang magiging Pasko sa amin kasi ito nga, nagkaroon ng biyaya, bigay ng PLDT at saka Smart. Uh, hey, tuloy pa rin ang Pasko ng Pinoy kahit ano pa mang pasakit sa ating bumalaki. Pag-ibig sa ating puso. Ano pagdating sa, ano, sa PLDT and Smart? Yung original na ano, yung original na plan ay yung maano yung mga food packs lang. Pero dinagdagan pa nila na ano ng vitamin C tas mga ibang mga gamit pa. Sobrang generous talaga na ano ng PRDT and Smart. Pati yung ano yung uh, QCID registration on the ground barangay QCID registration para at least mas ma-access ng mga tao yung mga programa at ayuda from yung government. Maligayang bayanihan Pilipino. Maligayang bayanihan Pilipino. Maligayang bayanihan Pilipino. Asahan mo tuloy pa rin ang Pasko. Maligayang bayanihan Pilipino. bawat bata sa panahon ng pandemic ay napaka-challenging. Hindi lang po sa panahon ng mga uh, uh, sa part ng mga bata, kundi rin po sa part ng mga guro. Dahil kailangan po nating masigurado na ang edukasyon ay mararating ang bawat pa, batang polonenyos. Ako po ay solong ama na ang aking kasawa po ay nasa abroad noong dumating po ang ating pandemya. Ang aking pong mga anak ay kaliliitan. Talagang ako laang po ang solong nag-aalaga at nag-aalam sa kanila. Isa ang pinagtungolan sa maraming uh, OFW na kababayan namin na uh, maraming kamag-anak na nandito. At ang isa sa inaangal nila ay ang mahina signal ng Wi-Fi dito. So with that, ginawa namin siyang um, uh, CSR, no, uh, pinagtungolan elementary school para sa mga kabataan na pumapasok dito, sa mga teachers, sa mga kamag-anak nila at para rin makausap nila ang mga kamag-anak nila na nasa abroad. Ngayon, sa pagbibigay ng pocket wifi, uh, we aim that sana makatulong ito to make remote learning and teaching more accessible and more convenient for our students and their teachers. We hope na through this, um, ang connection nila sa kanila mga bahay ay mag-improve at mapadali ang edukasyon ngayong panahong may COVID tayo. Uh, we are so blessed po kasi po nakarating po kayo dito sa Pinagtungulan Elementary School. And ang pagpili niyo po sa amin ay malaki po ang naitutulong. Taos puso po kaming nagpapasalamat sa Pinagtong Olan Elementary School dahil inaccommodate po nila ang aming um, donation. Dito sa Pinagtong Olan Elementary School, tuloy pa rin ang Pasko. Maligayang bayanihang Pilipino! Asahan mo tuloy pa rin ang Pasko, maligayang bayanihang Pilipino! Bilis, no? Sunitin ang weekend with these steps. Yes! Just go to your nearest smart load retailer or use your smart sim to pass a load. Choose your desired light load and enjoy over 100 premium channels for two days. Yan ang hashtag Signal Hacks. Make weekends more awesome with Signal Light Loads. Light sa budget, premium ang viewing. Welcome back to All Politics is Local. Tonight, we are still with Mr. Alex Lopez, economic manager and a candidate for the Manila mayoralty race. 
solve natin, isa-isahin natin ang mga sinasabing problema mm -hmm. ng Maynila. Maraming problema, Sir mm -hmm. Alex. Do, do you agree? Maraming aayusin sa Maynila. Yes, But, yes, yes. Pero, Ako, is, uh, it's uh, unimaginable the problems of the city of Manila. How do you plan to address the itong sentimiento ng mga vendors sa Maynila doon sa Divisoria? Lalong-lalo ngayon, magpapasko, halimbawa, pagka ikaw ang naupong mayor, anong plano mo? Uh, going back to my old principle, progress at the speed of trust, um, then I have a short, medium, and long-term plan. My short-term plan is uh, let's leave to the barangay captains, not to the hawkers' bureau, the uh, pagkatiwala natin doon sa nakakaintindi sa lugar. I would suggest night markets, what we're doing in Hong Kong, that's our short-term plan. Night markets, may oras sila. Pag hindi sa na sila nakakaabala doon sa, sa traffic at sa pedestrian at doon sa regular na nagbebeta, na nagbabayad ng tamang gupis, then sa gabi sila. Di ba may mong pok tayo dyan, may mga night markets. Let's arrange for that. That's a short-term plan. Uh, let's give the barangays the right to fix uh, their communities. And I think we have to trust them. Uh, may kanya-kanya silang katangihan. Kaya nilang gawin yan. Kasi ayaw naman nila pumangit at dumulo ang kanilang lugar. So hindi ko maintindihan bakit uh, hawkers ang pinaano. Sabi nga ni Isko, pag nakita nyo magbali kanya mga vendors nyo na, pinibigyan nila ako limang milyon, alam nyo na, kaya huwag ko naman kung ano nangyari ko. But maybe wala naman. So let's all assume good faith here. Uh, uh, the everybody is acting in good faith. So, but uh, I think we should have that short-term plan. Now, my medium-term plan is yung inutang nila, dapat ipautang sa vendor yun. Kasi yung mga vendor na yan, may kanya-kanyang katangi at galing yan. At tao yan. At gusto natin umasensyahan at pag umasensyahan ang aasenso sa syudad ng Maynila, magbabayad ng tamang busyan, mag-aayos ng kanilang bahay, haya. Bahayan, mag It will add to the economy. It will, it will spiral and take off the economy. It's not just a trickle-down effect. It, they, it will spiral the economy. Now, my long, my long term, yung inutang na 25 billion, yan ang medium range plan natin, pautang natin, di lang sa vendor siya, sa tricycle operators, kahit yung ibang gagamitin na lang nila pang hospital at pang ano. Tama naman eh, mapunta yan sa ano. Pagkatiwalaan natin sila, kaya nilang bayaran yan. Uh, at uh, 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 progress at the speed of trust. And, and uh, my, my long-term plan is, of course, we have reclamation projects. Uh, itong reclamation projects natin, 30% of these reclamation projects belong to the city of Manila. Before we let the investors come in, I will, I will coordinate with government agencies like at the NHA, the National Housing Mortgage Development Corporation, para mag tayo muna ng housing kasi kailangan mauna ang mga manilenyo. Papasukin muna natin ang mga manilenyo dyan. Tapos dyan makakakuha ng mga workers, ng mga employees, yung mga private sector na papasok. So yan ang long-term plan natin sa vendors. So maybe one or two floors of their housing projects of the NHA can be given to the vendors. And this will be very beautiful and progressive area of the city. So yan, yan dapat ang dapat may long-range planning din tayo. And that, that's not too long to accomplish. Uh, they're about to start. I think they would have started uh, uh, they would have started during Arab's time because he was already pushing for it. So, ang sinasabi ko rito, may nila muna, unahin natin, pero papasukin natin lahat para umunlad ang may nila. Yun lang po ang sinasabi ko. At uunlad naman. Uunlad naman ang may nila. Uh, we were the pearl of the Orient. The the cream the Manila was uh, number one. Po. Eh, there's no reason why we can't go back there. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Puntahan ko naman po ang uh, Dolomite Beach. Talagang dinadayo, dinadagsa. Although ito po talagang nakatutok din ng DNR at nasa ilalim po ito ngayon ng rehabilitation at nasa finishing uh, touches na po. You think talagang magandang ideya po itong ginawa nila sa Dolomite Meat, ay Dolomite Beach at ito pong idinudulot ngayon na pagdagsa hindi na nako-control 
or pwedeng pagsimula ng ibang problema, paano nyo po i-manage, i-handle ang Dolomite Beach? Unang-una, ho, I would like to uh, thank uh, my colleague at, uh, uh, at uh, party list, si Manong Roy Simato, for for uh, siya ho ang under his agency po talaga ito sa DNR. At napakaganda po. At uh, the mere fact that people go there means that it's a beauty and uh, napapakinabangan po ng taong bayan. Ngayon po, uh, siguro lang uh, mag because it is COVID, kung hindi naman COVID, siguro pwede nang tagsain ng tao yan dahil nga sa COVID, uh, we should have just the proper protocols for COVID and that. Uh, and uh, the city should have uh, instituted uh, safety protocols for, for COVID. So, yun, yun lang po ang aking sasabi. Mm -hmm. That you'll get more involved. Kasi parang lumabas kasi, partner, dun sa mga naging balita, talagang DNR eh, parang hindi narinig yung partisipasyon ng, ng LGU. Ng, ng LGU. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, the LGU po should na... Kasi ang trabaho ng DNR eh to institute environmental and natural uh, awareness and improvement, which they did naman. So, ang nasa city of government naman, uh, ang police powers of the city and the regulatory powers to regulate uh, the effects of COVID po. So, uh, Magtulong-tulong na lang po tayo. I don't think, uh, I think that's a minor problem which the city, when it puts its head on, uh, they can easily solve that. I'm confident that, uh, that the city government of uh, Mayor Isco and Mayor Lacuna can solve that if not through we and with the proper help of the police and the barangays in the area. Mm -hmm. Sir Alex, uh, yung sinasabing naging performance ni Yorme no, ng tatlong taon dito sa lungsod ng Maynila ay eh, sinasabing tough act to follow. In fact, tumatakbo siya sa pagkapangulo ngayon at napaka-popular ni Yorme. Uh, paano nyo ho gagawin? Halimbawa, kayo ang manalo. Paano nyo susundan yung uh, mga proyekto na sinimula ni Yorme? Halimbawa, kayo ho ba yung tipo na halimbawang uh, na mayor Eh, itutuloy niyo ho ba yung mga proyekto na nasimulan nung inyong uh, yung, papalitan? Yung magagandang proyekto po ni Mayor, eh, hindi na po natin babaguhin yan. Eh, Siyempre naman, ang objective naman di atin dito, uh, paano makakatulong sa Maynila. Lahat po nang nakakatulong sa Maynila. At yung tingin ko naman pong, uh, lahat naman po siguro yan, eh, tama eh. Uh, I think it's just a matter of priority because we have scarce resources. We have immediate problems. I think we should uh, address the problems straight on and uh, use our scarce resources to uplift the lives of the people so they can respond. We can help them respond mm -hmm. to the crisis. Katulad uh, ng kawalan ng anak buhay, kawalan ng pag-asa. E palagay ko dapat dyan tayo nakafocus. Uh, um, I would like, I would not like to downplay the achievements of Mayor Isco. And uh, I think uh, as a mayor, given the circumstances he's in, meron naman pong nagamang mga mabubuti po at ipagpapatuloy po natin. Mm -hmm. Ano po yung mga nakita nyong maganda naman na naging performance po ni uh, Yorme? Kasi katulad ng sinasabi nung ilan pong mga taga Maynila, they feel safer habang naglalakad ngayon po sa lungsod ng Maynila. Um, even din po yung mga lugar na pwedeng puntahan, they feel safe kahit gabi na. Mas maliwanag, mas malinis, mas disiplinado raw po. What's your take on that? Uh, nakatulong po si Mayor Isko dun sa, sa disiplina, sa ano, sa... Pero I think... Uh, we have to give credit where it is due. And I think the credit really goes to Digong's uh, war on drugs, lalo na hudo sa mga slum areas. Eh, nabawasan po talaga ang mga ating, alam niyo naman, yung mga snatcher. Um, eh, ngayon nga, nandito sa phone ko, sa TikTok, meron lang in-snatch. Eh, ngayon lang, tinitingnan ko lang ngayon. Uh, in-snatch dito sa... 
sa tabi ho ng aking headquarters dito sa Malapit sa Palakanya. You know, those things happen. And uh, I think we have to look at the records. But I think the records are official order. Uh, we, we have to accredit, we have to credit that to the PNP. And we would like to thank them for for uh, the job they've done. And we have to take uh, take uh, to give credit to uh, President Duterte kasi eh, marami yung nagre-reklamo doon sa war and drugs, marami rin negative uh, feedback doon, on, uh, especially on human rights. Pero ang general perception po ng taong bayan ay natakot ang mga kawatan, ang mga adik, ang mga pusher, ang mga snatcher. Dahil uh, they know that the president means business. So as far as peace and order is concerned, we can I can also thank Mayor Iskobing, the head of the city government, kasi siya naman ang sinisisi dyan pag sumabla yan. And I think we, all, we have to give him credit pagka maasenso po. And uh, we just have to strive to improve on the system. Polisiya uh, ho, yung policy, ang pag-aralan natin, hindi mga politika. All right, uh, Cheryl, Sir Alex, uh, let's pause for a break. Will Mr. Alex Lopez rise to our challenge? No. Mukhang mapapasaba ka dito. <laughs> Sir Alex, that's coming right up. na kulang yung facilities natin for responding to COVID patients. Mabilis namang tumugon si MVP at sabi na, niya sa amin ay tulungan natin. Itong pandemya, itong COVID, ang pinaka-naapektuhan sa ating mga uh, health workers. Kasi sila, kahit Pasko, tuloy pa rin ang trabaho. Kaya gusto namin tulungan sila. Tuloy pa rin ang Pasko. Kahit ano pa dinadaan na uh, paghihirap, there will always be a reason to celebrate Christmas. Itong taon na to ay hindi naging maswerte para sa atin. Kaya naman lahat ng MVP groups ay ito ang ginagawa, tumutulong sa ating mga kababayan. Even in the middle of the pandemic, gusto natin ipahatid ang pagmamahal no, sa ating mga mamayan, lalo na doon sa mga nangangailangan. Sa tingin ko, damang-dama natin na ah. kahit saan kaya talumingon, may pagkakataon kang tumulong. Saan natin mapapadama ang tunay na diwa ng Pasko para sa ating mga kababayan? Tuloy pa rin ang Pasko ng Pinoy kahit Ano pa mang pasakit sa ating bumalaki Pag-ibig sa ating puso ay mamamalagi Na para bang ngiti dito sa ating labi Basta ating mga puso ay magkakaritmo Magkasalap, magkarama, yan lang ang hiling ko Asahan mong tuloy pa rin ang Pasko Maligayang bayanihan, Pilipino Malaki na pong bagay sa akin yung new obligation Aba, ay ngayon na po kami makatikim uli eh Ano po? Ika nga, may ikon, may hamon. Tuloy po ang Pasko dahil may pang Noche Buena na po kami. Nagpapasalamat ako sa mga tulong na uh, inihahandog dito para sa amin. At ito yung kailangan-kailangan talaga ng uh, pamayan ng tribo. Sangalan po ng aming saban, kami po ay taos pusong nagpapasalamat. Ngayong 2021, kahit nasa gitna pa rin tayo ng pandemya, ay hindi tayo tumitigil sa pagbibigay tuwa at ngiti sa bawat isa. Kaya naman ngayong Pasko, tuloy-tuloy nating ipasa ang saya para sa isang maligayang bayanihan. Ngayong Pasko, ang hashtag main goals ko ay makapagpasaya at magbigay tulong sa mga nangangailangan. Magtatapos na ang taon, pero ang ating teleservisyo at pagtutulungan ay tuloy-tuloy lang at lalo pa nating pinaiigting. Hindi pa din naging 
the year 2021. But you can proudly say na lumaban tayo and we give it our all. At patuloy tayong lalaban at magtutunuan. Christmas is not only a season. It is also a mindset of being thankful, of giving, of sharing. Which is why we always say every day should be Christmas. The pandemic has hurt all of us, but in a way it has made us realize that we cannot survive it if we don't share with others. Kasama niyo po ang MVP group sa adikain ito, maligayang bayanihan para sa maligayang Pasko. quarter sa PLDT Home, Fiber Home at Smart Communications, Paymaya. At tulong-tulong kami dito ngayon. Nag-umpisa kami dito sa Quezon City, sa District 2. Ipinili namin talaga yung mga jeepney drivers. Talaga sila rin isa sa mga naapektuhang sektor dahil nga walang mga biyahe, walang mga trabaho. Kaya naisip namin magandang pagsamasamahin sila dito sa District 2 at sila ang bigyan namin ng magandang Noche Buena this Christmas season. Ang hanap buhay ko lang yung pagdi-dispatcher. Hanggang ngayon, nagdudusa pa rin ako eh. Kasi kukunti pa lang ang bumibiyahe. Sobrang ano, blessing. Grabe. Kasi wala akong cellphone eh. Uh, Papasalamat ako sa Smart, sa PLDT. Kami po ay nagpapasalamat kasi dalawang taon na halos kami walang biyahe. Maganda po ang magiging Pasko sa amin kasi ito nga, nagkaroon ng biyaya, bigay ng PLDT at saka Smart. Oh. Yeah, tuloy pa rin ang Pasko ng Pinoy kahit Ano pa mang pasakit sa ating bumalaki Pag-ibig sa ating puso Ayon yung pagdating sa, ano, sa PLDT and SMART Yung original na, ano, yung original na plan ay yung mga, ano, yung mga food packs lang Pero dinagdagan pa nila na, ano, ng vitamin C Tapos mga ibang mga gamit pa Sobrang generous talaga na ano, ng PLDT and SMART Pati yung, ano, yung uh, QCID registration On the ground barangay QCID registration para at least mas ma-access ng mga tao yung mga programa at ayuda from yung government. Maligayang Bayanihan Pilipino. Maligayang Bayanihan Pilipino. Maligayang Bayanihan Pilipino. Asahan mong tuloy pa rin ang Pasko. Maligayang Bayanihan Pilipino. You're still watching All Politics is Local, and this time around, sa sabak sa ating challenge, si Mr. Alex Lopez. Yang paano ba itong challenge? Okay, itong challenge na to, Sir Alex, ang tawag po dito is Zoom with Black. We'll give you names and then you tell us what you'll say to them kung nandito siya sa Zoom with us. Diba? Naka-Zoom tayo ngayon eh. Kunwari mag-pop yung taong yun. Oo. Makaharap nyo bigla. Ano yung gusto nyong sabihin? <laughs> okay ba sa inyo okay, yun? Okay, sir. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Kung malalim ang... Uh, <laughs> Para malalim ang na. <laughs> iniisip ni Sir hindi, Alex. Oh, okay. Hindi naman kailangan seryoso. Oh, pagod yung, na. Alas 6 pa lang. Kumakapaan nyo na kami. Kaya... <laughs> oh, yung, yung tipong pag biglang oh. humarap sa inyo, nakasarap nyo sa Zoom, oh. ano kagad yung magpapop? Or ano yun din niya niyo? sasabihin nyo po sa kanya. Okay. Unahin na natin. Zoom meeting with Vice Mayor Honey Lacuna. What will you tell her? Uh, I wish you all the best and uh, may the better candidate and program and aspiration for the Manilans win. Zoom meeting with Isko Moreno. What will you tell him? Yorme, good luck. Uh, you should have stayed more in Manila. Wala sana, hindi sana ako tatakbo ngayon. Eh, kaya lang, eh, umakyat ka. Eh, so, eto na ako. So, eto, klaruhin ko lamang siningit eh. <laughs> so, kaya po kayo tumatakbo, you've decided to run is dahil nawala si Yorme. 
Hindi ah, naman po. Uh, yun lang ang sasabihin ko sa kanya. Uh -huh. Kasi maaaring tumakbo pa rin ako kung walang kandidato na opposition po. My main reason for running is to put up an alternative to uh, the present government. And uh, maybe somebody will uh, will fight him. Pero yun ang joke-joke ko sa kanya kasi kaibigan ko siya. Uh -huh. Sasabihin ko sa kanya at kahit na po kayo ay running under BBM, nananatili po kayo magkaibigan ni Yorme? Uh, we have the highest respect. Ano lang naman po ito? Uh, this will pass. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, we are all humans uh, trying to make a better uh, life for uh, our less fortunate ones. So, hindi eh, wala naman nung personalan dito. Uh, uh -huh. I hope he doesn't take it personally if I say things against his government. Uh -huh. And now I realize slowly what's happening. I won't even think kasi na, na to challenge him kasi ang ganda ng promo niya. Uh, propaganda niya. Ang ganda-ganda talaga. Di ba? ganda ng ginawa ng city. Ngayon, eh, hindi siya tumakbo. Si Honey ang tumakbo. Sabi ng tao, ako sama na nangyayari sa Manila. Unti-unting lumalabas po. So, yun ang main reason po. But I think if he was there, uh, there would be, there, the positive promo would still be on. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Ituloy natin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Zoom meeting with Bongbong Marcos. Anong sasabihin mo sa kanya? Uh, sir, I hope uh, if you win, you will... Uh, do this country a great service and uh, you will focus on the upliftment of our fellow Filipinos. Hmm. At ang Zoom meeting po kasama ang inyong running mate, Raymond Bagatching. Uh, Raymond, hindi, nandiyan lang siya sa, sa labas. <laughs> <laughs> Dapat na lang yung sinabas sa mga pabili. Raymond, uh, this will be a tough fight and uh, I admire you, I admire your principles, and uh, in the short time I've known you, I've seen that you are really uh, a principled man, and uh, I respect that, and I'm happy to run this uh, fight with you. All right, lastly, Zoom meeting with Sara Laurel Lopez. Anong sasabihin ninyo sa inyong ano, better half? Darling, <laughs> Darling, patawarin mo na ako. <laughs> Gusto ko lang ang pipilis. Teka, sa no? Gusto ko lang ang pipilis sa taong bayan. Uh... Nagpapasalamat ako at sinusuportahan mo ko. Alam ko, ayaw mo to. Pero buti na intindihan mo ko. Love you. <laughs> Napaka-sweet pala ni ano, eh, Sir pala yung, Alex. I'm so marinig lang yung darling. Okay na, okay na, darling. Oh. Okay. Thank you so much. Ayan, tuloy ako. <laughs> Doon ka na iyak ha. Doon ka iyak. <laughs> Pero maraming salamat po sa inyong oras, sir. It's my pleasure and my honor. And uh, I'm hope I I'm sure we see each other again uh, somewhere some some other time. Uh, and I thank you for the opportunity. Uh may nila muna. Marami pong salamat muli sa inyong oras, Sir Alex Lopez. Will he be able to bring back the Lopezes to power in the country's capital as the new local chief executive of Manila? Manilenos, you decide. I'm Jay Taruk. And I'm Cheryl Quasim. Your community matters. That's why all politics is local.